I'm Sarah, I'm from Dynamic Boards, and we advertise all the non-exec growers across the UK. Um, and today I'm speaking with Kira Shivers. Um, Kira is a board member with Innis Free. Um, Kira, tell us a little bit about what Innis Free does to start off with. Sure. Uh, Innis Free is a housing association, so we provide affordable homes, um, mainly in northwest London. Um, so the name Innis Free uh, comes, is, is probably best known from the WB Yates poem Lake Isle of Innis Free, and it harks back to the roots of the organisation, um, it having been founded in the 1980s um, to particularly address the needs of Irish communities in London. Um, and that origin is still very important to us and to everyone involved in the organisation today. So um, more than half of our tenants are Irish and um, we often collaborate with other Irish charities. Um, and actually that foundation, um, I think, gives us a sense of responsibility to serve new migrant communities in London. And, and that's quite an important part of what we do. That's brilliant. And can you give us a sense of the turnover of the organisation and maybe the growth phase that you're in at the moment? Sure. Um, so we have about our turnover is about four and a half million pounds. Um, we currently have uh, almost 600 homes. So when I joined the board four or five years ago, uh, we had 550 homes and we have been growing gradually since then. Um, so with the developments that are currently other way, underway, we will um, surpass 600 homes later this year. And we're looking to continue growing at, at that sort of steady pace. That's brilliant. And, and you're looking for a new chair for the board at the moment. Can you give us a sense of what the board's like, how long you've been there, uh, what the mix is like on the board? Yeah, so I've been there for four and a half years, um, which makes me one of um, the more long serving members of the board. Um, and it's a really good mix of people, actually, from um, all different sorts of career backgrounds and um at different ages and, and people bringing different perspectives. Um, so we have a number of board members who work uh, their day jobs or in the housing association sector in, in different guises. And so they're able to bring that practical uh, experience. And then um, there's people like me from finance background and others from a legal background and, and, and other um, careers who can bring different perspectives to bear. So it's a good mix of people. Um, and actually we, we recently had a strategy day with the, an external facilitator who um, who remarked that they were particularly struck by the diversity of our board and how well we were doing on that front. So, you know, I think that is, is something that we sort of see as one of our strengths. Yeah. And in, in what sort of respects is the board diverse? Uh, so all different ages, um, different ethnicities, different um as I said, different career backgrounds. So mm. people who think about things in different ways. Um, and, you know, I think this one of the things that uh, I often notice is when people are asking questions to the board, we, we rarely have multiple people coming up with the same questions. Actually, everyone's approaching um, the issues from, from different perspectives, which is really helpful. Yeah, that's fantastic. So you're getting the fruit of having a truly diverse board. That's amazing. And is it your first board role and others around the room? Yeah, so uh, it, uh, Inish Free was my first board position. Um, I had been looking to uh, do something like this for a while, but it, it was the first opportunity where I felt a real sense of connection with what the organisation did. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I think many, if not most, of our current board members um, Inish Free as their first board position. That's brilliant. And it sounds like a fantastic mix. But for this new chair coming in, uh, what sort of experience would you like them to have? Um, so I think having some board experience um, will be necessary. So they don't necessarily have to have chaired a board before, um, but someone who already understands what the roles and responsibilities of a board are and the particular um, function of the chair within that someone who understands what good boardroom dynamics look like, um, someone who understands the importance of having a constructive working relationship with the chief exec um, and how to strike that balance between, on the one hand, sort of scrutinizing, challenging the executive, but um, 
uh, on the other hand, kind of empowering and supporting them to do what they do and, and, and get the best out of them. So, you know, so someone who, who, who sort of understands what the role of the chair is, um, albeit they may or may not have been a chair before. Um, I also think uh, some sector experience would be an advantage. Yeah. So um, it'd be great to have someone who understands the types of opportunities and challenges that a housing association of the size of any free faces at the moment. Um, you know, that might be from working in the sector or working adjacent to the sector, but, you know, someone who kind of understands where it is that we're at and, and, and the sort of um, challenges we're likely to face in the years to come. Thank you, Kira. Well, that sounds like, you know, you want somebody who's got really strong governance experience. Uh, you've got a really great board already. You've got a good mix there. You're in steady growth mode. It sounds like a really good opportunity for someone to come in as chair. So is there anything you want to share about sort of what your experience has been like joining the board and the culture that you found there? Yeah. Um, so I would just say, you know, the thing that I've been particularly struck by um, is the quality of the staff team. Um, and you know, a comment that's often made about Inishfi actually is that it punches above its weight. So in the in the world of housing associations, Inishfi would be considered a small um, housing association. But, you know, the um, the team is very involved in things that are happening across the sector. Um, you know, they have a high profile. Um, the performance has been very strong, uh, both operationally and operational measures and, and financially. Um, so you know, this is an organization that's in a very stable, secure place. Um, you know, we're not looking for someone to come in and fix any major problems or or undertake any kind of major transformation. Mm. Um, we'd really like someone who uh, feels a connection to the Inish Free mission and values and someone who feels like they would enjoy um, the chance to help the organization do keep doing what it's doing and do more and to gradually, you know, uh, grow what it is that we do. That's brilliant. And then finally, some of the practicalities. Whereabouts are board meetings and how often are they? Yeah, uh, so our headquarters are in West Hampstead um, and board meetings. We have eight board meetings a year, normally for two hours uh, in the evenings around 6 p.m. Um, and those are in person in West Hampstead, although we do always have hybrid facilities. So, you know, if, if people aren't able to join um, they can they can join remotely. Um, we also have a one day strategy event each year normally, um, and that uh, has in the last number of years been in London somewhere. Um, it, in the more distant past, we have held events in Belfast and in Dublin, so it could be further afield, but um, but yeah, more typically in London. And in addition to the board meeting cycle, we have three committees of the board. Um, there's the Audit and Risk Committee, uh, Remuneration and Nominations Committee, and the Development Committee. Um, and each of them typically meet three times a year, and those meetings are online. Um, and the chair would be expected to be a member of the Remuneration and Nominations Committee as well. Okay, brilliant. And I understand you're on the nominations committee, so you're going to be on the panel for this interview process. So uh, that's given you a chance to meet one of your uh, one of your interviewers. Absolutely, <laughs> the yes. candidates watching this. Yeah. Um, so Kira, thank you so much. I think you've given a great sense of of what the role's about uh, and what you're looking for. So for any prospective applicants, I wish you luck. Um, and Camel to Kell are supporting you on this process as well. So uh, there's a link below to view the role on Camel to Kell's site and also on Dynamic Boards. And if you've got any questions or you want to ask, um, ask to have a chat with someone beforehand, please do reach out to them. Um, so thank you, Kira, for your time today. And thank good you, luck Sarah. potential applicants. Thanks.